The dream of flying is as old as the humanity itself. For many thousands of years, even the idea of floating up in the skies was unimaginable. Today, that mythical thought is an everyday reality for many paraglider pilots around the world. Traversing numerous landscapes, from mountains to deserts, thousands of feet up in the air, all while being attached by a couple of strings to a piece of material. Keep on watching this video as I am going to take you on a journey through the US and present to you 10 of the best paragliding sites in the country. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe with the notifications bell on. Let's get started. Number 10. Good Springs. This paragliding spot is situated near the town of Good Springs in Las Vegas. This is a great place for desert thermal flying. You can have very long flights there with a set flight record of 62 miles. Even in stable conditions it takes about 15 minutes of gliding to reach the desert floor. The launch elevation is at around 1800 meters MSL. Good Springs is one of three launches in the Las Vegas area. Its primary hang glider use is for northeast winds. Paraglider pilots, however, use both the northeast facing launch and south facing launch. Hang glider pilots use the Good Spring launch primarily in the winter late fall and early spring. During the warmer months they prefer to use another nearby southwest facing site called Tabletop. The best time for paragliding is usually from spring to fall, but if you want to have the most fun, you should consider going flying in the morning during the summer. Number 9. Sedona Red Rocks Sedona lies in the US state of Arizona and it has become an extremely popular destination for flying enthusiasts and adventure seekers. The amazing above view of all the rocks and the sand and the feeling of flying over a wasteland leave quite a solemn feeling. If you are planning to fly here with your paraglider, you might have to think twice. Most flying here is motorized, either with PPGs or paragliding trikes. You can as well see this magnificent landscape from the hot air balloon. There are a couple of spots around Sedona Red Rocks that are suitable for paragliding or hang gliding, such as Miriam Crater with a launch site at around 2000 meters MSL or Mingus Mountain at around 2400 meters MSL. Number 8. The Point of the Mountain Located in Salt Lake City in Utah, you can drive to this area to enjoy the paragliding activity. This is among the premier flying spots in North America, great for both paragliding and hang gliding. The mountains extending into the valley create a permanent stream of air that offers some of the smoothest, most predictable air conditions in North America. When you are done exploring Salt Lake City, drive on over to the point of the mountain where the real paragliding pleasure begins. Pick a starting spot depending on your level of skill and the weather and enjoy your flight. The point of the mountain can safely be flown nearly all year. If you are looking for the most popular paragliding places in North America, you should drop by at this place. In the morning the wind is steady and smooth and without turbulence. In the afternoon however with the valley heating up there are big updrafts that let experienced pilots fly cross country and do tricks. Number 7. Fort Funston. Fort Funston is located just a few miles south of San Francisco. California is one of the top destinations in the world for adventure sports specifically for hang gliding and paragliding. The combination of mountains, coastline and consistent sunny weather with lots of updrafts creates great conditions for flying. The season is from March to mid-October. The scenery is beautiful and the location is great, being only a few minutes drive from San Francisco. The famous Funston Shear, a wind phenomenon that will suddenly roll, propels pilots so high that they have a hard time getting back down. The winds coming off the cliffs also allow for some cross-country as pilots try to head south down to Half Moon Bay. Number 6. Jackson Hole Jackson Hole is located in Wyoming, south of Grand Teton National Park or the more popular one Yellowstone National Park. If you are planning to visit Jackson Hole, you are surely doing so for the paragliding. This sport has been gaining more and more traction in the area. You can fly over the valley from great heights. The flights last around 15 to 20 minutes. Of course, if you are having good thermal conditions, you can spend a lot more time in the air. Many tourists are coming here for the ski resort, but also for paragliding flights. The extraordinary view of the valley is something that you won't forget for the rest of your life. The heights are often considered challenging for most paragliding lovers. One thing they love about this place is the spectacular view. It is simply memorable. 
If you want to, go there and check why it is considered one of the most popular paragliding places in North America. Number 5. Tiger Mountain The Tiger Mountain is located in Washington State, close to Seattle. The mountain is part of a designated protected area, the Tiger Mountain State Forest, and has several recreational areas used for hiking, mountain biking and paragliding. This is an excellent spot for beginner paragliders with a takeoff sights at around 500 to 550 meters MSL. Tiger is flyable with winds from the south, west and preferably the north. During peak season, Tiger Mountain provides prolific lift for beginner pilots to enjoy hour-long flights. More advanced pilots will find ample cross-country potential at Tiger. Flights from Tiger have gone as far north as the Canadian border. On clear weather with a fair wind, you can continuously fly for quite a long time. On the hill above the launching platform, you can watch all the paragliders take off into a beautiful dance and enjoy the great scenery of the Issaquah Alps and Lake Sammamish with Bellevue just over the horizon. Best months to fly are April to August, but it's flyable all year long. You will definitely feel like going for a flight once you catch a glimpse of this scenery. Number 4. Owens Valley Located along the eastern edge of the Sierra Nevada, this linear valley allows for record long flying thanks to a series of updrafts, one after another, for over a hundred miles. Half of the point of this kind of flying is to gain a new perspective on the tremendous natural beauty of the US. The Owens Valley is not for the faint-hearted. Rocky Peaks Pump climbs up to a 6000 meters cloud base. The time to fly here is in spring or autumn, but also in the summertime if you are an experienced pilot, as the desert floor heats up very much in midsummer, which can create extreme piloting conditions. You find here strong mountain and desert thermals. This is a place where world record holders will push their limits and test their skills in the summer conditions that this place provides. The first 100 and 200 milers in the United States originated here, on both paragliders and hang gliders. Number 3. Sun Valley This absolutely stunning valley is located in Idaho and is one of the top destinations for paragliding and hang gliding. It even served as one of the locations in the Paragliding World Cup. It is a good area for both beginner and experienced pilots. Sun Valley is a huge area with big desert updrafts that allow cross-country gliders to fly for hours and cross hundreds of miles, all while enjoying spectacular scenery. Sun Valley is a very popular ski resort in the United States. However, in addition to being a great skiing spot, Sun Valley is also a great place to paraglide. The flying season is from April to October, but July and August are best for cross-country flights. The cloud base exceeds 5,500 meters on a good day, and 8 meters per second thermals are not uncommon. While this is a place mainly for experienced paragliders, the less experienced flyers can also choose to go with tandem flights. Number 2. Glenwood Springs Glenwood Springs is located in Colorado, with Denver being the closest major city. You must go to Glenwood Springs if you want to see and experience a fantastic and spectacular bird's eye view while flying. It also has perfect spots for landing, where you will slide smoothly on the ground. Once you take a vacation there and experience what it's like to fly in such a place, you will definitely want to return for more. Not only you can enjoy the beauty and spectacular view from above, but you can also enjoy the perfect landing spots. The flying season is from May to October, with multiple flights per day during the peak summer season. But because of its relative low altitude, the weather is usually good for flying all year long. If you have ever dreamed of flying or gazed up at the birds soaring above longing to join them, this is your chance to live that experience. You will definitely have a great time if you choose Glenwood Springs as a vacation spot for paragliding. Number 1. Hawaii, Makapu and Kahana Bay Hawaii is located around 2,300 miles or 3,700 kilometers away from the US coast of California in the Pacific Ocean and is an ideal place for all kinds of sports including paragliding. There is no questioning Hawaii is most well known for its dreamlike landscape. The azure waters of the Pacific, the lush green mountain tops and the amazing Hawaiian volcanoes. Out of many places to fly paragliding in Hawaii, here are two of them. Kahana Bay. Kahana is a state park located near the top of the windward coast of the island. It is a remote lush valley surrounded by tall ridges and fronted by a mile wide beach and bay. The lift is mostly ridge lift, with the possibility for some gentle thermals mixed in. On the right days this is a great site for new local pilots and low airtime visitors, 
and it also offers some easy cross-country trips with a mixture of ridge soaring and thermal flying for new cross-country pilots. Makapu The Makapu Ridge is a world-class soaring site located on the eastern tip of the island, pioneered and made famous in the early days of hang gliding. The ridge stretches 3 miles down the coastline, from the lighthouse perched on steep sea cliffs that rise from the churning waves below, to the hang launch overlooking a 1200 foot sheer drop to the beach. The Makapu Cliffs at the easternmost part of Oahu rise over 600 feet out of the ocean and have consistent updrafts to keep you aloft for hours. These were top 10 paragliding sites in the US. If you are still around, thanks a lot for watching and liking this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite place to paraglide in the US or even in the world. See you in the next video. Bye guys!